Hi guys, welcome back. Um, more N64 pickups. Now, you might remember the other day I had um, the first batch of pickups that arrived, but the seller sent them in two separate packages and now the second package has arrived. So um, I've got, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, another six to show you here. So that's kind of cool. And I'm starting to pick up uh, a lot more of these bad boys, which is kind of nice. Because I'm just, maybe it's the start of the year, maybe people just clearing stuff out, but I'm finding them, uh, the ones I want, at a pretty decent price. Um, I will say that by the time the shipping is kind of sorted out from Japan, it kind of does bump it up a little bit. Um, and I did have a bit of a, oh, cause I hated exchange, that wouldn't be true at all, via email with a particular seller in Japan who was asking for stupid money after I bought them. Um, we sorted it out in the end and they will be arriving maybe sometime this month or maybe next, whenever. But the, the shipping, he was just having a laugh, he was asking for some stupid money, and which completely contradicted what he said in his item description. But anyway, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, that's, it's done and dusted now. I've paid for them. I've got them. I'm pretty happy. But to begin with, it was a nightmare. But like I say, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that as and when. Let's deal with these six pickups. So the first one, I don't even know what order to do it in. Uh, this is called Custom Robo 64. Uh, think of it as like, um, a, it is like an action game. It's slightly isometric. It kind of has a look to, um, almost like a Final Fantasy game, like an RPG. Probably can't work that out at the back. Try and show you. Now nah, you probably can't make up a lot from that, but it's a nice cover. Pretty flashy, vibrant covers there. Uh, colours, I should say. And, and obviously, you've got to see the sides. Oh, and again, you know the stickers at the top here. But as I showed in my last video with Top Gear Rally, this does just, in theory, <laughs> as I do that, I nearly ripped it. In theory, you see, it just peels off. Nice and simple, which is good. So, um, in fact, it's amazing because it doesn't leave any marks. So, um, and you've got to see the bottom of the box. Black this time. It's always a different colour. Usually. So again, I just really like the colour. It's kind of a really vibrant Japanese design. So that's Custom Robo 64. Or just Custom Robo. Next one up is um, Mickey's Racing Challenge. Now, when I first saw this one going on eBay, um, probably the best part of a couple of years ago, um, it went for about $25, which I do think is overpriced. There was probably maybe two or three people who wanted it at that time, we were bidding against each other. And I looked at it and I thought, I'm not paying $25 for that, get lost. I ended up winning this for about, mm, it was under 10, around right about eight, let's say. Um, eight to $10, which I was pretty pleased upon. Um, bearing in mind, it did go for $25 once, and then the other time I saw it, around about Christmas, it went for about 15, 16. So I, I think I've got it for cheaper than I should do, really, but I'm not complaining. So again, front cover, and it's made by Rare, as you can see at the front there, Rare and Disney. So you, um, same makers of obviously GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, Diddy Kong. So you know you are getting a quality kind of game with the Disney license. Again, the sticker on the top, that can easily come off as I just showed. The sides and the bottom of the box, which is a nice cream kind of colour. <laughs> but again, front cover there, pretty, um, pretty nice. I wasn't going to get this to begin with, but, but then I realised, well, for part of a collection I had to get it. And not just that, but um, I, I thought it would be kind of a bit childish, a bit immature, you know, Disney and all that kind of stuff. And then I looked at it and I noticed it was made by Rare, and I thought, well, not actually, let's give it a chance. Not played it yet, I'm sure it's fantastic. Um, next one up is Star, uh, Star Twins. I was going to say Star Twins, as it looks upon there, just like one word, Star Twins. But Star Twins, or Jet Force Gemini, if you're in PAL and North American regions. So, um, again, another one made by Rare. And it looks kind of good on the back, actually. Uh, again, it's kind of an action thing, but it's also got on the back, if you can work that out. Possibly not. Um, like a split-screen four-player game, much like GoldenEye, which, again, like I say, they, they made. So that kind of looks fun. So there's the front, with the annoying price sticker on the front there, but I guess that can just come straight off. And then the sides. And then the bottom of the box. So again, the front. Pleased to get that one. Um, and price-wise, like I said, I think this was under ten dollars, about eight eight fifty. Custom Robo, I think, it was around about six dollars. This one, um, seven or eight, I think. Basically, they they were all under ten. Let's put it that way, including these next three, which I think were around about five. They're not particularly rare at all, hence getting them to five dollars, which is around about three quid. Um, so the first one up is Human Grand Prix. So just look at this as Formula One, basically, just racing. There's the front, bottom, there's some sides, and they're all in good condition. Again, the sticker, you know, that'll come off easily. 
and then the back from whatever you can make out from that. Can't really work out anything, I don't think. But anyway, so that's that. Please to get that. They're all boxed. They're all well, clearly they're all boxed. But they're all complete with instructions and manual and that kind of stuff. Instructions and manual. Yeah. So again, just to show you, this one doesn't come with its bag, but there's the cart. The little customary plastic tray, the official one with the N64 on there, and then several little leaflets. One here, little fold-out thing. Can you see that? Yeah. It's kind of weird, that actually. And it just tells you about um, what tyres to put on in weather conditions. Sounds pretty good. Registration card, and then the actual instructions. Again, really quite thin, paper thin as you can see. And that's about it. That's pretty much all you get in all the boxes. Um, Condition-wise, they're all in very good condition, apart from this one, which has got a blemish right in the front there. You probably can't see because of the, uh, it's just above the price tag, down there. And just above there, it's like, you probably can't see, like I say, because of the chequered flag, it kind of disguises it, which is handy. But um, yeah, but it's not awful, it'll do for now. Now this next one up is called Jikyo Powerful Pro Baseball Basic 2001 which is a bit of a mouthful. Obviously self-explanatory, a baseball game. And uh, if I show you the back, it looks, if you can work that out, almost like if, you've, if anyone's played the, uh, which I'm sure a lot of you have, or at least seen it, the Wii Baseball, it's basically that kind of cartoony look, cartoon graphics to it. Feels pretty bulky, but again, I, well, you've got to check it out now, haven't we? But I imagine it's just a, a thicker instruction manual. Yeah, it's slightly thicker instruction manual. Everything else, registration card, cards, all the rest of it. And then last but not least, we have J League 11 Beat 1997, which is kind of a strange title. I don't know what the beat bit is. It does, it's not very, uh, you know, when you put it together, let's say that J League 11 Beat 1997. Not the best example of English in the world, but a nice little cover. And it's a football game based obviously on the J League in Japan uh, from 1997. So Beat 1997. Maybe it just means that these players, these cartoony things, could beat the best from 1997 in the J League. I haven't got a clue. So there's the front, nice and colourful. Green at the bottom. And then the sides. And then the back. And it's more of a... I mean, if you, when you think of the N64 and you think of football games, you probably think of um, Pro Evolution. Or, sorry, I should say, International Superstar Soccer. Now, it kind of looks like that. That. But it's more of a cartoony thing. Again, similar to the baseball. More of a cartoony take on it, and it's kind of isometric. And it does look quite good on the back, actually, in that cartoony way. Um, particularly one screenshot I'm looking at up here, which you probably can't see at all. But on the top there, let me try and get close. Uh, I doubt you can work that out. But it's basically um, an isometric view, and it's raining. So the weather effects kind of look um, pretty special. So that is that. That's them six games for the N64. Like I say, that kind of pushes my total to around about, well, just under 50, give or take. So, um, yeah, I've got a few more on the way from the seller, which I was talking about earlier on. They should arrive maybe next kind of couple of weeks, give or take again. And that's about it. I've got uh, my second Call of Duty video. I know it's not for everyone, but I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit, you know, with the videos. I'll only be doing four, so don't worry, I'm not going to cover every Black Ops map because that would bore me to bloody back of my teeth so it would bore everyone else so if you want to watch them watch them if you don't want to don't want it. it's not the end of the world but it's out there for people who are interested but really it's not um it's not really great to watch in terms of the coverage like the gameplay it's probably best to watch just for me rambling talking nonsense as per usual so anyway that's all i've got to say this time happy valentine's day to everyone sounds a bit weird but um yeah take it easy and see you later